Now let's talk about CloudTrail. So CloudTrail is a way to get governance, compliance, and audit for your AWS accounts. And CloudTrail is enabled by default. This will allow you to get a history of all the events and API calls made within your AWS account by the console, by the SDK, the CLI, other services on AWS, and all these logs will be appearing in CloudTrail. Now what you can do is that you can also put these logs from CloudTrail into CloudWatch logs or Amazon S3. And you can create a trail to be applied to all regions or a single region if you wanted to accumulate all these history of events accumulated across all the regions into one specific, for example, S3 bucket. And when we use CloudTrail, for example, we'll say someone went ahead and deleted something in AWS. For example, say that an EC2 instance was being terminated and you want to figure out who did it. Well, the answer is to look into CloudTrail because CloudTrail will have that API call in it and will be able to get to the bottom of it and understand who did what and when. So to summarize, CloudTrail is in the middle and the actions of the SDK, the CLI, or the console, or even IAM users and IAM roles or other services will be in the CloudTrail console. We can look in it to inspect and audit what happened. And if you want to have all the events for more than 90 days, then we can send them into CloudWatch logs or we can send them into an S3 bucket. So let me dive a little bit deeper for CloudTrail. So we have three kinds of events that you can see in CloudTrail. The first one is called the management event. And these represent operations that are performed on resources in your AWS account. For example, whenever someone configures security, they will use the API call called IAM attach role policy, and this will appear in CloudTrail. If you create a subnet, this will appear as well. If you set up logging, this will appear by default. Anything that modifies your resources or your AWS account will appear in CloudTrail. And by default, trails are configured to log management events no matter what. You can separate two kinds of management events. You have the read events that, mod that don't modify resources. For example, someone is listing all the users in IAM or listing all the EC2 instances in EC2, these kind of things. You can separate them from write events that may modify resources. For example, someone deletes or tries to delete a DynamoDB table. And obviously the write events have probably a lot more importance because they can wreck damages into your AWS infrastructure, whereas the read events is just to get information which are still very important, but maybe less destructive. Then you have data events. So they're separate and by default, data events as no, are not logged because they're high volume operations. So what are data events? Well, you have Amazon S3 object level activity, for example, get object, delete object, put object. And as you can see, these can be happening a lot on an S3 bucket. And so this is why they're not logged by default. And you have the option to separate, again, read and write events. So a read event would be a get object, whereas a write event would be a delete object or a put object. Another kind of event you can have in CloudTrail are AWS Lambda function execution activities. So whenever someone uses the invoke API, so you can get insights about how many times your Lambda functions are being invoked. And again, this could be really high volumes if your Lambda functions are executed a lot. And the third kind of events in CloudTrail are called CloudTrail Insights events. And so I will talk to you about CloudTrail Insights in a bit more details in the next slide. So now let's talk about CloudTrail Insights. So when we have so many management events across all types of services and so many APIs happening very, very quickly in your account, it can be quite difficult to understand what looks odd, what looks unusual, and what doesn't. And so this is where CloudTrail Insights comes in. So with CloudTrail Insights, and you have to enable it and you have to pay for it, it will analyze your events and try to detect unusual activity in your account. For example, inaccurate resource provisioning, hitting service limits, burst of AWS IAM actions, gaps in periodic maintenance activity. So the way it works is that CloudTrail will analyze what normal management activities look like to create a baseline, a baseline, and then it will continuously analyze anything that is the right type of event. So whenever something is changed or tried to be changed to detect unusual patterns. So very simply, the management events are going to be continuously analyzed by CloudTrail Insights, which will generate insights events in case something is detected. And so these anomalies, so these insight events, will appear in the CloudTrail console. They will also be sent to Amazon S3 if you want to. And an event bridge event, so in CloudWatch event, is going to be generated in case you need to automate on top of these CloudTrail insights, for example, to send an email. So this is the idea behind CloudTrail Insights. Finally, let's talk about CloudTrail event retentions. So events by default are stored for 90 days in CloudTrail. And then afterwards, they're deleted. 
But sometimes you may want to have events for longer in case you want to go back to something that happened maybe a year ago for audit purposes. And so to keep events beyond this period, what you have to do is that you have to log them to S3, so send them to S3, and then you would use Athena to analyze them. So very simply, all your management events, your data events, and your insights events are going to go into CloudTrail for 90 days retention period. And then you would log those into your S3 buckets for long-term retention. And when you're ready to analyze them, you would use the Athena service, which is a serverless service to query data in S3 to find the events that you're interested in about uh, and learn more about them. Okay, so that's it. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next lecture.